Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Today I want to talk about the reaction to uh, the South Africa versus Ireland series. Uh, the loss yesterday by a single point. Uh, the 1-1 series. The words that were said by both coaches from last night as well as the reaction we have seen from the fans. It's been very interesting. Uh, before we get into it, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We are past 70,000 subscribers. So a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed. If you are not getting the notifications for the videos, please make sure you turn on those notifications. Click the little bell under the, the uh, video so that you get notified every single time we post new content um, and the likes. Let's get into it, shall we? The Springboks yesterday went down to Ireland by a single point, having come back from 16-6 down uh, to eventually lead Ireland and then going down in the 81st minute. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal drop goal. Two drop goals, actually, really, from, from Kieran Frawley. Now... I want to talk about the reaction because uh, <laughs> social media is a buzz with a uh, lot to chat about last night. And I just find it so funny how last week and the last two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, we've been talking about this, the golden Springbok era. You know, is this the best place that African rugby's ever been? Look at the depth we've got. Phenomenal. Best team in the world. Undoubtedly the best team in the world. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Kieran Forty pulls out two brilliant individual pieces of play. A phenomenal, um, you know, drop call right at the end. And all of a sudden, the tactics are wrong. Rassi Rasmus needs to go. We need a new team. Uh, Tony Brown needs to go. You know, we've moved away from our DNA. You know, Kraft Clerk needs to retire. Andre Pollard needs to be replaced. We need to bin Sasha Fami Gomazulu. We need to, I mean, it's just ridiculous, isn't it, how quickly... We change our tune um, as, as fans in the heat of the moment. And this is why I like doing this video the next day because I've woken up this morning and uh, I have gone on social media. I relived last night and uh, I've come to terms with it. To be fair, I've come to terms with it pretty quickly after the game because as a rugby fan, you watch that Kieran Forley moment and you, the only thing you can do is sit back and go, wow, or well, fair play. You know, it was an incredible rugby moment. And I don't think the box were at their best last week. All this week, to be honest, I, I think we haven't quite had seen that sort of Bach performance that we saw sometimes during the World Cup. Um, you know, that Bach performance, for example, versus New Zealand in August last year. Um, so we've not been at our best. We are definitely changing. We are definitely trying to evolve. Um, it's so much evidence of that. We are trying to play differently. Now, is it going brilliantly? No, maybe not. Um, have we played less than 300 minutes of the system? Yes. <laughs> to freak out about the fact that we're going away from our DNA. We've lost what makes us good. It is so, so, so premature. We have played three games since the World Cup, people. That wouldn't have been that wouldn't even be an entire Six Nations campaign. And if there's one Six Nations campaign, for example, we'd be two out of three wins and probably, you know, set, you know, in, in it to potentially win. I don't know why I'm making a Six Nations comparison, I'm just saying. So we need to relax a little bit, people. I think we need to just calm down, take a deep breath. And look at yesterday holistically. And what I saw yesterday was an incredible 20-minute effort from the box after halftime, which showed us exactly how we can play. Look at the relentless pressure, for example. I mean, 24 points yesterday, all off the boot of Andre Pollard, shows us for, uh, that, that a side like Ireland, who are not ill-disciplined, by the way, they're one of the most disciplined side in the world. We put them under immense amount of pressure. You know, we weren't great in the first half. A couple of silly penalties. A great try from Ireland, it must be said. And, uh, you know, we were behind, but we got back into the game. We had some really good moments. And I also think yesterday, you know, we saw the, 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 the injuries play a big role. You know, we were very lucky in the first test and not having to deal with injuries. Yesterday, for example, Frank Mosta going off early, Billy Rue going off, off early. You know, those are two massive players for the box. I mean, that's almost 160 odd caps that you lose when those two players go off. Frank Mosta is the line out general, um, for example, you know, and, um, he, he's the one that runs the line and, and he's one of our best tacklers, one of the most efficient players around the park. You've got Billy Roo, he's our you know, playmaker. You know, he creates so many opportunities and you lost that. Now, I think Zach Fahmy Gomez-Zulu had a decent game. I think he had some really good moments. We obviously saw the runs from him um, and had some, some, some bad moments. You know, the, the kicks into touch, for example. I think that whole thing about him carrying the ball into touch, I think that's a bit harsh. He, he can't take that chance. You know, you're running straight to the, to the line. You know, that ball bubbles up. You're right by the, the, the touch line. Nobody is leaving that ball. You know, I think to try and criticize him for that, I think just shows a lack of understanding for the game. You know, you're not going to take that chance. You've got James Lowe behind you. What if that ball bubbles up and James Lowe, you know, jumps, gets ahead of you, taps that ball back inside, he goes over and scores. You don't take that chance. He had he did everything right by grabbing that ball and going into touch. I'm sorry, I will die on that hill. You can't take a chance like that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, 
we should have defended better, for example, um, and, and shouldn't have been in that, in that space. But let's look at it for the positives, for example. Those two teams yesterday were the best in the world, are the best in the world. I, I've got no issue saying that. I think France on their day can probably get quite close. And uh, I think New Zealand, if once they sort their, 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 their shit out, uh, might get there. But I think that they've lost so many players that they're trying to still adapt to. I think it's going to take a while before they get there. I think England's on the right path. But I don't think there's any two teams who are just as close to the, 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 the island and South Africa at the moment. And the fact that, you know, one test by seven points, one test by one point, two very close encounters shows you how good these sides are. And I don't know why we need to freak out about that. Humble in the victory, humble in the defeat. I've actually really enjoyed the interaction I've seen on a lot of between, especially on the channel. I think uh, that's the nice thing. On, like, for example, certain social media has been very, very um, tribal. A lot of tribalism, for example, in terms of the way that we've interacted. But I think on the channel, for example, I've seen so many positive responses from Irish fans today. They really enjoyed engaging with the South Africans during the, 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 uh, the, the tour. And even the ones that are here, they said they've had a fantastic time. I think a lot of South African fans are saying they've really enjoyed the, like, the way the Irish carried themselves. It's a very nice rivalry. It's a big rivalry. I think, you know, we kept trying to make it a bit of a, 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 um, a, I mean, I'm trying to think of the right words here, but to try and make it a bit more serious than it really is, I think there's massive respect between the two coaches staff. I think it was a bit of a grudge match, but I don't think it was that hostile, for example. I don't think it was a nasty side to it, to be being brutally honest. Um, I think it was just two great teams going up against each other. Uh, in terms of looking to the future, the box is going to rotate this weekend. We're going to see a whole brand new team, basically, on, on Saturday against Portugal. We're going to see Moy Levov back in the mix. We're going to see, um, you know, Andre Esterhazen. Uh, Nakanya Am's going to be back in the mix. Uh, we're going to see players like Ben Jason Dixon, for example, Jan Krobelov. We're going to see someone we're probably get a, a chance to start. Uh, we're going to see a potential debut, I reckon, from Warner Funderburg. So we're going to see the next generation this weekend. So take your loss yesterday. Take, oh, I'm taking the loss. We must take our loss yesterday. Park it. Say, right. Unlucky, let's look to the future. I don't think we need to panic. Um, I don't think we are, you know, we've dished the Bok DNA. But Rusty Rasmus has said how they had to develop from 2019 to 2023 to win that World Cup. This is now the next phase that we've got to keep changing. If we keep doing things the same, people learn it, people study it, and people can uh, stop it. We are starting to try a few things, different things. It's not always going to work. It's going to take a while to get things going. Tony Brown's had a whole, you know, two months with the team yet. Let's see how we're looking in a year's time, in two years' time. These things take time. I mean, this Irish side has been together for four for about four years now um, and been playing fantastic rugby for the last two to three years. The coaching staff has been the same, for example. The core of the team has been the same. Yes, there have been some big changes, for example. Johnny Sexton moving on was obviously a massive change of temper. Jack Carly stepped in. But their DNA and the way they play and, and the group has largely been the same um, for a while now. You know, we are now seeing a difference in the coaching staff, in an attack coach, new defense coach, for example. They're going to be tweaks to the system. It's going to take time to get things right. So I don't think we need to panic, people. I think that's the main thing. Chill a little bit. Enjoy your Sundays. Stop stressing about it. Big shout out to Ireland. What a team they are. What a, 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 a set of fans they are. Like I said, I've really enjoyed it. Hopefully see you guys very soon. Um, and uh, from a staff perspective, hopefully we can get one over you when we go to Ireland. Uh, the next time we go over in an automation series. I don't think it's this year, but hopefully it will be next year. Uh, but yeah, let's just enjoy it. Let's just talk about the fact it was great for Peter Rugby. I mean, Kieran Forty, for example, misses that. We win by two points. And I think the entire rhetoric and the reaction was completely different. All of a sudden, we'll be talking about, you know, how good this generation is, you know, 2 0. And, you know, we're the best team in the world. And and I, I don't think one drop goal changes that. You know, it's it's a, it's a game that can go either way. It's a game that went um, the, the wrong way for us. And it's a game of margins. Um, take another chin, move on. Let's get excited about Portugal because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, obviously, it's a very cool occasion for Portugal themselves to play against the Spring Marks for the first time. We are going to see a new generation. Then we have a bit of a break and win to the Rugby Championship. A Rugby Championship, I think we should and can win. And um, that's going to be exciting. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should we be panicking? Should we not be panicking? I don't see the point of panicking. Personally, what do you think? Let me know. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.